Okay, guys, let's rock and roll. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome to Angel Car Reading for the week of September 1st to the 8th. We know already what the book said, and let's see what the angels will say about this week, the beginning of September, the first week of September. What's going on? What we need to know? The beginning, the middle, and the end. Okay, the relationships, the romance cards. Let's see this for the couples and the single ones for the couples. And the single ones and the end. Let's see how it's going to end for the couples and for the single ones. Archangel Michael. You can ask Archangel Michael and Archangel Gabriel to say something. Okay, Archangel Michael here and here. The Archangel Gabriel. Hmm. And we ask this beautiful fairies, the middle. What are they going to say for the middle? Okay. And maybe this one. you cannot make this up even if you wanted to I swear okay the beginning the beginning the beginning no more procrastinating time to make up your mind decide and the power really lies in this decision that's the most important thing you need to know what you want just like in that book <laughs> you need to know who you are, you need to know what you want, and you need to believe that you're going to get it. Because you may have many choices, but now, if you here, if you're there, if you don't know, if you're not sure, you're not going to get it. So make up your mind, listen to your heart, what is that you really want, and go after it. Okay? Because if you will over, over analyze it, analyze it, and again analyze it, you're going to talk yourself out of everything. And again, you're going to be not sure. Listen to your crown chakra. Crown chakra is the top one, the seventh, just like the page was number uh, 34, which is 3 and 4, 7. So, listen to the downloads. What is that comes in your dreams? What kind of information are you getting? Because you will get it. You will get it. And guess what? On September 5th or 6th, but still this week, because the reading is from 1 to 8, is a full moon in Pisces. So, of course, you're going to have dreams, premonitions, visions. Some secrets maybe will be revealed. Maybe then you will know what to do. It's going to be given some information. Don't question, but listen to your heart. From some situation, uh, Archangel uh, Michael says, detach. Don't get involved with anything that is unhealthy for you. In fact, I'm going to read what it says. Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and this situation. Now, if that's the case, you may be decided on something new and you afraid it's not going to work. Or somebody will say something or somebody will judge you or feeling guilty, very dark energy, very 3D. You don't want to be there. You need to believe in yourself. 
It doesn't matter what anybody else is saying. What they're saying is their own opinion, which they introducing themselves to you. It has nothing to do with you whatsoever. If you believe in yourself, it will happen. You have a ticket already to it. So cut the drama, <laughs> cut everything and everybody that doesn't serve you anymore. That's what the energy of the month number nine is perfect for. And then you achieve success. That's Archangel Gabriel. You achieve success. Congratulations, you did it. So I see you very successful of cutting, cutting any attachments, any fear, any drama, any people, any situations that doesn't serve you anymore. It's going to be beautiful. And then you're going to, you're going to know what you want. And whoever is in your way, sorry, got to go. Their relationships, okay, for the couple ones, oh, it's karmic relationship. So you knew each other, you had lives already before this life together. So no surprise, um, the situation is whatever it is. Some of you will have bigger karma to fill your uh, shoes some important lessons and, and uh, some of you not as a reward you met each other that depends on uh, your per personal situation now for the single ones again again the finances and career so <laughs> the reason my dear ones that love doesn't come to us we're not ready because we're so busy with our own career, uh, pursuing our own dreams. That maybe we're repelling in some way. Because our heart is in something else. You know? Hopefully it will change, right? <laughs> the middle of the week. Let go of people in situations that don't serve you anymore. Be like the queen of swords. Truthful. Here is what I'm not going to put up with anymore. No nonsense. No uh, drama. And it's time to focus on our career. Where are we going? What we want? what we want to achieve. So in the middle of the week, we very much focus on our career, job, finances, how we're doing. Also, we may meet somebody who is the air sign or somebody from the past may come because it's still uh, Mercury retrograde. So somebody from the past who is the air sign, sun, rising, or moon. So it's Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Because I see love. And six is balance. Oh, it may be Libra for some of us. Love. Love. But also, because it is next to cut the people, I'm going to tell you right now. If this person comes from the past, you really need to take a deep look. If this will serve you or will be of this service. You gotta you gotta you, you you really need to see the truth because the sword is always the truth, the justice. Does this serve you or not? No, very personal question. But it may happen for some of us. Travel. The middle of the week you're thinking about travel. And some of you may be traveling already, maybe on a vacation, maybe on a business trip, maybe you thinking about traveling. So the angels are telling you this travel is very important. In fact, this travel that you're planning will change your life, perhaps forever. And that's why in the, in the September, 
the energy of number nine it may something be totally starting September gone forever because it will change your life in a very positive way you will be enlightened just like she's putting the light on she will be enlightened something will enlighten her it's gonna be beautiful Wow and and I know that I'm planning the travel to Netherlands and Poland to do seminars so uh, how important is for me and study that's why I said you cannot make this stuff up because I will give the seminars but other people will be learning going for the seminar study the same thing was in a book widen your horizons you see how beautiful it aligns so maybe you reading, maybe you buying webinars, maybe you going to seminars, maybe you doing some research, something important. Maybe you doing research because of your travel. Maybe you thinking about taking vacation. Maybe you relocating. Maybe you going for the seminars. But they saying because the middle of the week is very much on a career front. The love, maybe it's even the love of what you doing. And you finally thinking, okay, I need to do what I love to do. That's for many of us. And I need to act from my heart, where my heart is. Grace said, the angel said, the book said, I really need to act from my heart. What I would like to do. And you suddenly starting to shift. You're doing research. You're learning. You're studying. What is there for you? What country? What continent? Where you need to travel to learn something more? And that's beautiful because this study is connected to the career, job, business. Wow. Wow, wow, and wow. Cannot make this up. Now, how the uh, month uh, ends? Again, Queen was already Queen of the Swords, now Queen of. Um, the action fire man I see flames that's why I'm flames beautiful you need to believe in yourself exactly what the book said you need to, in order to achieve you need to believe in yourself otherwise it will not happen and this queen is full of fire maybe somebody is important in your life who is Aries Leo or Sagittarius too Sun Moon or rising but I think you need to be like this queen of fire, full of energy, full of flames. A heart, I say heart in flames. You know what you want. You're ready to go. And guess what? Once you decide about that, you will have wonderful people to help you, to push you in the right direction, to give you a good advice. Uh, the only thing is maintain a balance, and I see six next, that's balance. Um, because it's going to be so crazy busy. You're going to be on such a fire that watch out, that you don't have any accident, God forbid, that you don't fall, that you don't trip over something, okay? just And you're not going to be too busy not to eat properly or have enough sleep, rest, so take it easy, okay? But... Believe and succeed. Exactly what uh, the thought in the book said. It's unbelievable how this book is really, really, truly. It was meant to be a book with an intention. So true. In order to succeed, you need to believe. Go back to, uh, please go back to what I said about uh, what this whole sh idea what uh, that uh, thought from my book said because th that's exactly that's what it is in order to succeed you need to believe 100 percent wow and decide to be happy now Archangel uh, Michael says decide to be happy now thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness joy and bliss I am now willing to see all of the goodness in my life. 
So be positive, be optimistic, expect the best. That's the way to start the month of September. You're powerful. You know who you are, you know what you want. Have the map uh, of the success like I have there. I always see it. Have somewhere and truly, truly desire it because you will get it. You have a ticket. Detox time, Archangel Gabriel. So release toxins from your body, mind and diet. In order to be positive and feeling really good and powerful, you need to get rid of people, situations, unhealthy foods, unhealthy drinks, unhealthy habits, unhealthy situations, any drama, anything that is dark and unhealthy. Okay? Now, for the couples, yes, this is your soulmate. So, again, goes to the past relationships. Yes, this is your soulmate, your partner. I'm so happy for you. And... For us single ones, getting to know each other. So we may meet someone online. We may have an idea who we're interested in, who we would like to be with. And the message is, okay, before you get entangled with anybody, make sure... This may be also foretelling already. We will meet someone. But start on the right foot. First, know each other well enough and tell each other the truth. So tell you someone the truth about yourself. Reveal yourself for who you truly are. Don't try to put the mask on pretend cutesy petutsi if that's not who you are. And I know you are cutesy petutsi, but you know what I'm saying. Be truthful to yourself and somebody else. Don't waste your time and somebody else's time. Don't jump to any conclusions. Even if somebody came back from the past, start from the ground zero. You cannot pick up the pieces where you been last time. It didn't work out for a reason. So now you need to go back to the ground zero and, okay, let's talk like we just met. I wish you a wonderful week, full of success, full of, full of beautiful study, full of love and happiness and being positive and expect the best.